Hello guys, welcome to my channel Create Knowledge. In this video, we are going to learn how to install the latest version of MySQL Server 8.0.36. And here I will, will install MySQL Server, MySQL Workbench, and MySQL Cell. Now, first I have to open Google Chrome browser. Here write MySQL download. You see, this is the official website of MySQL. Double click on MySQL download. And after that, scroll down. You see, MySQL community GPL download. It will get in download option. MySQL community GPL download, click here. And you see here, MySQL installer for window. Click here, MySQL installer 8.0.36. Here, version is 8.0.36 and operating system is Microsoft Windows. And here, there are two options is there. Windows 86 32-bit MSI installer. This is MySQL installer web community. And this option is for MySQL installer community. But here I will go for MySQL installer community. I will have to click here. And version you see version is 8.0.36. So I will go for MySQL installer community. Click on download. Here it asking login, sign up. But you see here, no thanks. Just start my download. So I will click here. Now it is downloading in my download folder. See. It will take time. Now download is completed. Now minimize this window. Go to my download folder. This is my SQL installer community 8.0.36. I'll double click here. Now it is preparing to install. It is installing. Choosing a set setup type. Server only, client only, full, custom. I'll go for custom and then click on next. Here, select product. MySQL server, MySQL application, document. First I group click, MySQL server. Click on MySQL server. MySQL server 8.0. Click here. MySQL server 8.0.36. Select it and click on green arrow button to drag it here. Now go for application. We have download workbench and cell. First click on workbench, MySQL workbench 8.0. Click here. MySQL workbench 8.0.36. Select it. Again, click on green arrow mark to drag it here. Now click on MySQL cell, MySQL cell 8.0, click here, MySQL cell 8.0.36, select it and drag it here and then click on next. So installation, following product will be installed, MySQL server, MySQL workbench, MySQL cell and click on execute. Now you see, MySQL server is complete. Now I'm going to install MySQL Workbench. It is under process. Now MySQL Workbench is complete. Now MySQL cell is under process. Now complete all the three products, MySQL server, MySQL Workbench, and MySQL cell, all are completed. So click on next, product configuration, ready to configure, then click on next, port number is 3306, let it in the, as default, so click on next, show authentication method, use strong password, okay, then next, you have set the password, you choose password as per your choice, and then 
click on next after setting the password click on next but always remember your password don't forget it then click on next standard account system and then next yes full grant full access click on yes grant full access to the user running window service click on next now application configuration click on execute it will complete all the configuration now it has completed the configuration now see here all are being green tick that means configuration is completed now click on finish product configuration my sql server 8.0.36 click on next click on finish installation complete click on finish here i am going to set environment path minimize this window and go to you click here environment edit system environment edit system environment environment variable click on path double click on path click on new here we have to put the path we have to open c drive program file you see my sql double click here go to server click on my sql server here click on bin you select the path copy this path control c and go to your environment variable click on new i am going to paste this path control v you see program file mysql mysql server 8.0 slash bin then okay then click on okay then okay and close this window now click here cmd prompt open cmd prompt you write here my sql dash dash version enter you see my sql version is 8.0.36 window 64 okay now write here my sql dash u username is root dash password is password so i i have to enter the password which i have fixed and enter and you see my sql is open now here to write so databases semicolon enter you see default databases are there is the following are default database this is the default database so now here i am going to create a database i write here create database demo semicolon enter created now again i write so database databases semicolon enter you see demo database is created now i'm going to close it now i'm going to open my mysql workbench now click on your start start here and you see mysql workbench click here now you put your password enter your mysql databases workbench is open you see here i have created demo database it is showing here now i think you understand how to install mysql database in your system and how to operate mysql workbench as well as
how to use your CMD prompt. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Thanks a lot. Thanks.